I am going to do, I'll have a go at those paper dolls today. Those um, winged paper dolls. So I did pull out a few dolls that I thought were an okay size because my largest page in here is actually six inches so I can't make them any higher than six inches so I don't know how I'm going to go because the ones I've seen they were their skirts were quite long but anyway I'm going to have a go I've got this lady here I'll just move these ones back up there and what you do is you cut the feet off and you cut enough off so that you can glue that to the skirt and with this one I'm actually going to cut her arm out but I'm going to cut around the waist and then cut her hand and arm out just cut around the shape of it like that okay oh, I haven't cut that properly I've got a bird going, carrying on outside now. <laughs> okay. Now, we've got that cut out and we have her feet down here. Um, I've got some fabric here that I thought I might use. Either that or some calico. But I think I might use this one first. Now, with this I can't make it any I can't make her any higher than actually six inches so I can bring her feet down to about there and I'm just going to do a rough sketch of this on um, on a piece of paper out there okay so I've just got a, a bit of an idea um, how big to make the actual skirt So that's given me a rough idea and I'm just going to cut a piece of this How does that go? Let's go that way, does it? No. I can't work this fabric out. It's weird. And just going to roughly trim that up. What is going on out there? We've got dogs going and birds going. So the lady's actually going to have that as her skirt. 
and then her little feeties are going to go under there. Just measure that again and that should be just the right size. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to sew that but I might grab another I've got some coffee dyed paper here. I'm just going to put that on there and sew it with the paper underneath and just see how I go. So I shall be back. Alright, I've got that on there. I haven't stitched along the bottom because I wasn't sure um, the height. I didn't measure it yet. Okay, so I'm just going to rip the paper off. in a bit I think it's easier doing it on the larger dolls okay but that looks all right to me all right so I'll just grab some glue the glue on here I think Open it back up again, Wendy. <laughs> okay. So she's going to just sit on there, and I've put some glue underneath her hands too. I just have to just trim this side up here a bit. There. Okay, so that's her top one. And I was thinking on this page here, just for the height. So there's that. So I might just sew straight across there for these came from the Somerset Studio magazines. Oh look, I've done that too long. What was I thinking? Oh, I'll just snip it, um, sew it up a bit, a bit shorter. Okay, that must, that'll be better. But I'm not sure what issue. I think it was like over 12 months ago that this was in the magazine. And what have I done with her feet? There they are. And now I can just put some glue on here. And stick her feet on. Oops. Just 
She's only got little feet, this one. Not really legs, but there, yeah, that'll do. Oh, that looks okay, doesn't it? Something different. Bring you up to show her. Okay. I think some of those are going to look really cute in this little journal thing. There. That's what she's going to look like. That looks cute. Okay, so I'll do another one. <coughs> now this one, will I do this one? And I've got these double ones too. Maybe I should try a double one. do this little girl because she looks pretty okay so what we do is just cut the legs off okay so there's her legs and then just cut around her hand Now she's got a little purse on the side there, um, so I might end up just cutting around her little purse, her little handbag, or shoulder bag, whatever it is. Okay, and then just cut around her waist. Okay. She's a pretty little one, isn't she? Alright, so with this one, um, I've got this, I've got that fabric there, and I've also got this one. I think I might use the pretty little, the flower, pat, flower um, pattern. What did I do with that? Oh, there it is. That little template. Just have a look there. Yep. That'll be okay. And I actually think that, that might be the right length, is it? Yeah. Oh, I've got to take her legs into account. Alright, so I'm going to cut it there anyway. Um, I'll get some pretty flowers on there. So I've got that piece. Oh, I didn't put... Um, <coughs> you got to put butterfly wings on them too, so I'll do that in a minute. I'll just get this one put together. I'll just have a look. Oh, that looks pretty, doesn't it? But she's got a. I've got to have enough room for her legs, but that's okay because I can cut it up. All right, so I'll just sew this one on okay. here. I'll cut those off. Rip the paper off here. I think the, the paper just gives it um, a little bit of stability. Okay. Now, there we go. I will glue her on there. Oh, I don't 
need glue there, do I? I'll just wipe that off. Uh, just go there. Okay, so oh, and I'll cut that strand extra long strand off there. Right, so put that on there. Alright, so I've got her on there there. Now I do need to cut this up some some way. I'm just measuring out like my six inches, so I will need to come up about there. And it will come just under there. So I will just give that a stitch down there. Now I can put her legs on. not taller than six inches no it's not oh she looks so pretty they look so cute and they're just so easy to make who would have thought this easy um, what I might do she's got like a little um, ribbon in the hair I might actually cut out one of these little roses or something and put in there too I'll try that little one there first. Okay, put a little dot of glue there. Oh, look! Oh, she looks so pretty. The little flower in her hair. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I did, I don't have any of the Tim Holtz butterflies, but I do have some of um, Artie Mays' butterflies, um, and I think, um, just put those, I will cut them though. And I've got a purple. Oh, that'll look nice. Oh, that one's got purple in it too. No, this one here. Purple winged butterfly on this little one because it'll match in with the with her purple down there. So I do need to trim this one a bit. Little butterfly wings. Okay, and now they can be put, I might put them down a little bit lower. Oh, lovely. Okay, so let's just put a bit of dab of glue there. Over here, pull those ones out just a fraction. Okay, and she's got her little wings on. Oh, how cute does she look? 
I think that looks so cute and now this one okay I cut these red ones here but I just think they might be a bit too big so I'm going to cut these ones down and see how these ones go Those ones don't really need to be as high as the other ones because this shoulder's kind of like um, sloping down so okay well there's my two <laughs> My cute two little winged dollies, Tim Holtz dolls, inspired from Creative Cafe Girl and Somerset Studio magazine. Oh, they look so cute. Okay, and I've got some more to do here, so I'll do the other ones off screen, and you'll most probably see them in in my little ring bound journal but this is how they're going to look so I can use either the lady there and or the little girl oh aren't they gorgeous oh I think they just turned okay, out so that's cool it for today guys I'm going to sit here I've still got all the mess on my desk so I'm just going to sit here and play with these other ones and if I get them finished in time, I'll just put a couple of photos up at the end of this video. Okay, before you go, I'll just give you another look at the dolls I've made. So there's that one there. And I made that one there as well. And I've just finished these ones here. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh, I just think they're so, so gorgeous. I really do. And then the two ladies here um, that were joined, I did cut their feet apart down at the bottom. And like the fabric I used, I did have to cut it up a bit because that was kind of like in all one piece that way. So I cut a piece of the fabric on and made out like it's two they're two skirts but I just love them and I just had to come back on and show you what they look like guys and they were so easy to make and I did really enjoy myself and have a lot of fun so if you got some Tim Holtz paper cut out dies, I suppose you, you could use magazine images too like you know the tall the the um, people in magazine images that'd be all right and the butterflies, the majority of the butterflies are from Auntie May's. There's a couple that I've just got from a paper pad. But yeah, they look so cool. I just love them. Okay, thanks everyone. You all have a great day and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.